Hi, my name is Daryl, and I'm just going to give you a short version of how I came to Jesus. Uh, my life as a child started off being very, very privileged. I was raised in the church. However, I had another side of me that was always competing with God, living in the fast lane. I grew up with Ike and Tina Turner's kids, Ray Charles's kids. For those of you that are old enough to know these people, you'll recognize these names. They were my closest friends since, since elementary school, actually. So being in limousines, sitting at backstage in concerts, being in front seats during their concerts were just a part of my everyday life. And I can remember when Tina left Ike, it just got better or possibly worse in the end for me. Uh, being in around the fast lane lifestyle took me to a lot of places around the world. Drugs became a very important part of, of that lifestyle also. And because of that, I no longer had time for God in church. And after high school, I really didn't go to church anymore. As my drug addiction increased, it started to consume my life and truly spiral out of control. So once things got really bad, I finally decided that I needed to go to rehab and to get help and went into a six-month program. You know, I got cleaned, and I started going back to church. I stayed clean and continued attending church for approximately 14 years. I even got married during that time period. But as I realize now, I didn't truly surrender myself to Jesus. I was just showing up for church to check the box. So after checking the box with no surrender to Jesus, I, I, I eventually relapsed and started using again and lost everything, my wife, home, cars, boats, et cetera, et cetera, just stuff, and continued to use for at least another seven years. Through this time of using, of no more fast lane this time, I found myself in the company of gang members, using, selling their drugs, letting them use my apartment for gang activities even. Then and over during my crack cocaine use, I would pray that the only way I could permanently stop using was God would need to do it because I couldn't do it on my own. And through continued prayer while still using, God showed up in such a way that was, oh my gosh, it was not denying that he was real. A couple of pastor friends just started pouring into my life like, like never before. One of them discipled me for one year. He made me actually sign a contract that I would have to stick with, and the whole bit. And I wasn't really into that, so he kept on me, and so I decided that I would stick with this. I would actually try Jesus for an entire year. And, and Jesus and the Holy Spirit actually entered my life, and I decided to surrender my life daily to the Holy Spirit to work in my life. Because of the Holy Spirit working in my life, my life, my life started to look totally different. Day by day, I started noticing the changes in me that the Holy Spirit was doing in me, and it wasn't myself. You know, God always, and most important for me, was allowing the Holy Spirit to use me to build his kingdom and no longer mine. I was a true advocate of building my kingdom and being grandiose about myself. But after meeting God, I learned. I learned that it was truly all about him. So today, I like to live a life showing who God is in my life, not who Darrow is. Thank you.